Our topic for today is Electrical Test Study Guide Part 4, Electrical Mathematics or Math. <music> Numbering system can take in different forms. Whole numbers, example, from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. Fraction, like 1 fourth, 1 half, and 3 fourth. Decimals, like 0.25, 0.50, 0.75, 1.5, 1 0.15, and 1.25. Percentage, 25%, 50%. 75% and 100%. Our next topic is fraction to decimal. Converting fraction to decimal. Divide the denominator, the bottom part, into the numerator, the top part. One fourth, for example, one is the numerator, four is the denominator, or the same as one divided by four equals 0.25. Another example, 1 half equals 0.25, 3 fourth equals 0.75. Our next topic is decimal to fraction. Converting decimal to fraction, example 0.5. 50 divided by 100 equals 1 half. Example, what is the equivalent unit from decimal to fraction, 0.25? A, 1 fourth. B, 1 half, C, 3 fourth, answer A, 1 fourth. Our next topic is percentage. Percentage is a number or ratio that can express as fraction of 100. If we have to calculate percent of a number, divide the number by a whole and multiply by 100. Example number one. The passing exam to be accepted as apprentice electrician is 70%. A. 207. B. 270. C. 70. D. 700. Answer B. 270. Example number 2. The overcurrent protection device is 80% of the device rating. And if the protective device is 40%, what is the device maximum load permitted? Answer A, 32 amps. Solution, convert the 80% to decimal, 0.80, then multiply the 0.80 by 40 amps. The answer is 32 amps. If this is your first time here, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that every time I will upload a new video, you will be notified. And also, Check my other video like interview question and answer, hydraulic pneumatic, FANOC robotics, motor controls, and many more. Our next topic is parentheses. Parentheses are a group of steps in a correct order. Example, the sum of 5 and 15 added to the product of 3 and 4. Example here, open and close parentheses, 5 plus 15 plus often and close parenthesis, 3 times 4, 5 plus 15 equals 20, plus 3 times 4 equals 12, the answer is 32. Our next topic is reciprocal. The reciprocal is simply 1 over a number. To get the reciprocal of a number, we divide 1 by the number. Example, 1 divided by 1.25. 1 is the reciprocal. Example, what is the reciprocal of 125%? A, 100%. B, 75%. C, 80%. D, 125%. Answer, C, 
80%. Solution, convert 125% to decimal equals 1.25. Then 1 divided by 1.25 equals 0.8 or 80%. Our next topic is scalo, mega, centimeter, and millimeter. The letter K mostly used in electrical and electronics term, and the prefix of kilo is 1000. We have here sample of symbol, prefix, and multiplication factor. Example E, exa, 10 to the 18th power, P, beta, 10 to the 15th power, T, tera, 10 to the 12th power, G, giga, 10 to the 9th power, M, mega, 10 to the 6th power, K, kilo, 10 to the 3 power, H, hecto, 10 to the 2nd power, Da, deca, 10 to the 1 power, D, dc, 10 to the negative 1 power, C, centi, 10 to the negative 2 power, M, meli, 10 to the negative 3 power, Micro, 10 to the negative 6 power, Nano, 10 to the negative 9 power, Pico, 10 to the negative 12 power, Power, fem2, 10 to the negative 15 power, ato, 10 to the negative 18 power. Example, what is the wattage value of 12 kilowatt rated electric range? A, 12,000 watts, B, 10,000 watts, C, 9,000 watts, D, 1,200 watts. Answer, A. 12,000 watts. Solution, 1 kilowatt equals 1,000 watts. 12 kilowatt times 1,000 watts equals 12 kilowatt. A heater has a wattage of 800 watts. What is the equivalent kilowatt? A, 800 kilowatt. B, 80 kilowatt. C, 0.80 kilowatt. D, 8,000 kilowatt. Answer, C, 0.80 kilowatt. Solution, kilowatt equals watt divided by 1,000. Kilowatt equals 800 watts divided by 1,000 equals 0.80 kilowatt. Our next topic is area and volume. A volume in cubic inches or millimeter can be determined by multiplying the length, width, and depth by the enclosure. We have here example of utility box. The length is 4 inches, the width is 4 inches, and the depth is 1.5 inches. For the formula of volume, V equals length times width times height, V equals volume, L equals length, W equals width, H equals height. Example number 1. What is the volume of a junction box 4 by 4 by 1.5 or 1 and 1 half? A. 20 cubic inches. B, 24 cubic inches, C, 26 cubic inches, D, 30 cubic inches. Solution for 1 and 1 half equals 1.5 equals 4 by 4 by 1.5 equals 24 cubic inches. Our next topic is area of circle. The round part of a circle is the circumference and the diameter is 6 cm, and this is the radius. The formula is area equals 5 times r squared. Our next example diameter is given. Radius equals 6 cm divided by 2. Radius equals 3 cm. By using the formula, A equals 5 r squared. Area equals 5 times 3 cm squared. Area equals 28.3 cm squared. Our next example is area of a semicircle. The diameter is 10 cm divided by 2 equals 5 cm. By using the formula, A equals 5 r squared divided by 2. Area equals 5 times 5 cm squared divided by 2. Area equals 39.3 cm squared. Please look here for your additional reference. Our next topic is square root. Square root is a number which produces a specified quantity when multiplied by itself. 
7 is a square root of 49. For example, the square root of 25 are 5. Example number 1. 18,000 watts divided by 208 volts times square root of 3 is equal to Answer C. 50 amperes. Solution. The decimal value of square root of 3 is equals to 1.73. Divide 18,000 watts by 208 volts times 1.73 equals 50 amperes. Example number 2. The phase voltage 208 volts divided by square root of 3 is equal to A. 120 volts B. 208 volts C. 360 volts D. 460 volts Answer A. 120 volts Solution. The value of square root of 3 is 1.73. 208 volts divided by 1.73 equals 120 volts. Our next topic is basic formula. Review yourself for common formula and units. Our next topic is series circuit. In series circuit, the current that flows through each of the component is the same, and the voltage across the circuit is the sum of individual voltage drop across its component. Sample problem. A three lamps connected in series with a circuit having a resistance of 100, 350 ohms. Plug in a 12 volts power supply. What is the current? The formula of series circuit, RT equals R1 plus R2 plus R3 and so on. And now we're going to substitute the value of its resistor or bulb. R1 is equals to 100 ohms, R2 is equals to 300, and R3 is equals to 50. We are going to sum it up. The answer is 450 ohms. And now to solve for current, we use Ohm's law triangle. I equals V over R. Our voltage is 12 volts, and the total resistance is 450 ohms. Now the current is 0 0.027 amps. Our next topic is parallel circuit. And parallel circuit is one that has two or more paths of electricity to flow, and the load are parallel each other. And we have a sample problem here for parallel circuit. A parallel circuit having a resistance of 20, 30, and 40 ohms connected to a 12 volts power supply. What is the current? The formula of parallel and resistance is 1 over R total equals 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 and so on. And then we are going to substitute the value of resistance. 1 over RT equals 1 over 20 plus 1 over 30 plus 1 over 40. And the answer is 1.08. And then we are going to cross multiply to simplify Therefore, RT equals 1 over 1.08, and the answer is 9.26 ohms. To solve the current, we use Ohm's law triangle. I equals V over R. Our voltage is 12 volts. Our total resistance in parallel is 9.26 ohm, and the answer is 1.3 amperes. This is the applications of the formula that we discussed previously. Example, a 3.5 kilowatt motor with a voltage of 230 volts. What is the current? Power formula. P is equals voltage times current. I is equals P over V. 3,500 because we know that 1 kilowatt is 1,000 watts. So 3,500 watts over 230 volts. So the answer is 15 amperes. Next question. A 5 kilowatt motor, how many horsepower? We know that 1 kilowatt is 1,000 watts. In order to find horsepower, 5,000 divided by 746, the result is 6.7 horsepower. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video. If you like this video, 
Please like, share, and subscribe. Have a good one.